We're given a function and we're uh, first of all asked to find any critical points. So to do that we need to locate our derivative function which will be f prime of x equals 15x squared minus 14x plus 2. And now we need to set this equal to 0 because we need to determine where uh, at what values of x is the slope 0. And this is a quadratic formula problem, so we need a quadratic formula. And the reason we know that is because it has the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where um, a, b, and c are, um, well, it doesn't matter if they're all non-zero values, but they are all non-zero values. We just want to make sure that this guy's non-zero. Um, so we can't really isolate x by hand, so we have to use quadratic formula. Now, I don't really have anything on my little digital calculator here, so I just uh, Googled a website, and this one happened to, I think I looked up quadratic formula calculator, and I just went into the first one I found. So this just requests a, b, and c, which we have 15, negative 14, and 2. So I'll type in 15, negative 14, and 2. And uh, so then it just replicates our equation here. And notice it gives you all the work in case you're interested in seeing how that comes about. But the bottom line is here are the two solutions. We get uh, about 0 0.76 and 0 0.18. So we have x is about 0 0.76. x is about uh, 0 0.18. OK, so those are our two critical points. And we don't know whether they represent mins or maxes, so we will come over here and we will do our second or our first derivative test. And so now we need to pick three points, one within each of these intervals, to see does it increase or decrease, increase, decrease? Does it increase, decrease, increase? Uh, we need to determine what happens. So we can pick our test points. I'll choose x equals zero. Um, I'll choose x equals just kind of a. Um, Oh, this is a 0.18. So I'll pick uh, maybe a half. And then over here, I'll pick x equals 1. OK, perfect. So now we'll come over to our calculator, and we'll figure out what is the derivative, what is the output of the derivative. Does it output a positive slope or a negative slope when I type in x equals 0? So I'll just type in 15 times uh, 0 squared minus 14 times 0 plus 2. You can probably already see this is going to be 2. And so we know that f prime of 0 is equal to positive 2. We don't care about the 2, we care that it's positive, meaning that we know that there are positive slopes, uh, 0 slopes here. We also know that it's increasing up until that point. Um, now, does it come back down or does it continue to go up? That's something we have to actually double check. So now I would put in 0.5. And over here, I'd also put in 0.5. And I hit Enter, and I get a negative number. So f prime of 0.5 equals negative 1 and a quarter. Again, we only really care about the negative part. We know that it's going down. And uh, we know there's a zero slope here. So does it come back up is the question. Well, we'll check by putting in 1 for, um, for x here. And so I'll do the same thing here. And we get positive 3. So f prime of 1 equals positive 3. And so indeed, that goes back up like this. And uh, it kind of does look like that snake shape of a cubic function. So we, we probably know this is going to be a little more smoothed out. We kind of just drew it as lines just to get a point across. So we have a max. Um, this will be actually not a global. It'll be a local because Notice this function keeps on going up, so that can't be the biggest max, and it continues going down, so that can't be the lowest min. So we would call these uh, local max and local 